Hello everyone, here I am again. I apologize for not recording non-stop because obviously I, I should be talking non-stop and I just just not in that situation where that's really a reality. Um, this phone wouldn't work for me no matter where I was. I could be in Atlanta with 50 Wi-Fi's available to me. Couldn't get on anything. Nothing could ever happen. I was in Dallas. No matter where I was, this phone wouldn't work. Get back to this phone. Get back to this farm, and all of a sudden, well, this phone works. Basically, uh, I still don't have access to my email. Um, basically, everything else works. So, you know, I don't know. Powers that be didn't want me roaming around. So now that I'm back at home base. My phone works. So I should be making more videos and uploading more. I'm not having any of those technical difficulties anymore, but it just so happens that, I don't know, I'm receiving a lot of downloads from our Heavenly Father and spending time with Him is more important to me than anything. Sorry, it's just how it is. Nothing is really ever going to change that. And, uh, Well, I just hope that, I don't know, people open up their eyes and start using their minds and making it so the human race's company is something that I could look forward to. Because, you know, I'm probably going to be bombarded with tons of it, and I really don't want any of it. Like, I've made that clear since the very beginning. Like... I'm here to the will of our Heavenly Father, not my own. Okay? Um, call me selfish or whatever, but I'd rather just be enjoying my life than having to fight senseless battles against deaf people. Satan's been defeated. It's you all that ha are evil. I have to tend to and deal with and it's a little discouraging when I see no signs of God love in the human race like whatsoever well I'll just have to say that there's a couple of things that have happened in the last few days to have proven that uh, those sitting at the 9, 3, and 6 place um, are so necessary and so important and This wind is pretty rough here, and I don't think you guys are going to hear anything I say. Well, I hope this is recording well here. Anyway, uh, Igwe is everything that I needed someone to be at the time that I needed someone to be there. To prove to me that love isn't impossible within the human race. I'm not saying that Igwe's in love with me or anything like that. It's not that. What I'm saying is God is capable to be within the human race. Love. Like anybody that I've handed a key out to, invited to the table, well they have wisdom and they have faith and uh, a lot of prerequisites we'll call it the list is long I'm not going to go into it all right now of why they're even invited to the table but love if they have love well they've kept it hidden 
Igwe was the first person in my whole entire life I've confirmed is capable of love, possesses love, love is within her and she is within love. That's God. God is within her and she is within God. 100% confirmed. Like there's a whole lot I could I could have said over the last few months, but I couldn't say anything because it would ruin it all. I needed someone to step forth and just present themselves as love in flesh, a human being that possessed love. Love for everyone, love for anyone, love for the neighbor, love for themselves, love for others, love for their enemy. Love doesn't have a boundary. Igwe has love for all, for anyone. It's true love. It's, it's God. Confirmed for sure. Because there's no fear. She's not afraid to say my name. See what I mean? Like that in itself should prove to basically everyone who I am. <laughs> right? The human race fears to speak my name. Not Igwe. No, she's not afraid to say my name. You know, if anything, she, she's the only one that could handle this six key. And maybe she deserves a better spot than that. She, there is no doubt. I had a million confirmations before I ever made this public information to any of you that well, she's the one sitting at the six spot, like directly across from the zero or the 12. Depends on how you look at it. Anyway, yeah, it's awesome. Like, I needed that confirmation because, well, when all of a sudden the whole world claims that they love me, I'll always wonder, and I'll have always wondered forever, who, who all of a sudden now claims that they love me when everybody hated me until right up until that point. Like, I'd always question, does the one or the two or the three or the four or the five or the seven or the eight or the nine, do they really love me or do they just love what I've given them? And that's a royal spot in the royal family, eternal, guaranteed eternal life. Not you die and you go to judgment day. You were handed like eternal life. Then a spot that everyone that's ever walked the face of this earth would have loved to have had. And I'll always wonder, do they really love me? Or do they just love what I've given them, what I've provided for them? But I'll never doubt that with the Igwe, see what I mean? I'll always know that she actually has love, not necessarily even just for me, just for the truth. She's not afraid of anything. She's not afraid to even speak my name. Everybody else, even Ebony, when she said, when she spoke my name, it was in a, she doesn't really know me factor kind of thing. Igwe. She knows me. She's not afraid to know me. Even with all the things that I've said and done. You guys all have that to live up to. Like the whole entire human race does. Everybody else has just spoke to me. Like in some kind of, like I was some kind of dog. And you weren't willing to speak to me and address me. All of you have treated me in a way I didn't want to be treated. Specifically, that condescending bastard, Eli. 
nobody has been worse than that man. None of you. And none of you have been a whole lot better than him. Not even those invited to the table have been any better than him. Barely. He condescendingly talked down to somebody, the only person who has proven to actually have God within him. None of the rest of you cowards who are too afraid to speak my name have God in you, or you wouldn't be cowards to speak my name. I'm not afraid to speak anybody's name. Was anybody ever afraid to speak another person's name? Were they afraid to say Alexander the Great, or were they afraid to say Hitler, or were they afraid to say Gandhi, or were they afraid to say Jesus, or were they afraid to say anybody ever, Stalin? Anybody? Bush? Reagan? Trump? Obama? No one's afraid to say someone's name, just my name. See what I mean? Historically, this is a fact. And you guys all live in some kind of co cognitive dissonance constantly. It makes me sick that you, any of you, have the gall to get up on YouTube. Doesn't matter, Jew, Muslim, specifically you Christians, they're just pure cowards. You don't have any faith in anything you really say or do. You're just a bunch of actors. Not Igwe. She's the real deal. I don't even... Here's the thing. If all hell broke loose tomorrow, and it was like some end of the world, we all died. Or, well, let's just say nothing changed. Igwe would still perish from lack of knowledge. She sure would, just like all of you. Nevertheless, in the few things that I've seen that I disagree with her, it's not that big of a deal. And since she'll be in my life forever and I'll be in her life forever, she, she won't perish from lack of knowledge, and she will live forever, and uh, not that others won't too, but she's the first person I've seen in my 45 years that isn't a coward, has proven that they do know what love is, and that is of them. They are part of it, and it's part of them. Love, God, the Almighty Creator, is with Igwe. See what I mean? For sure. Like, she didn't even really, really need me to invite her to the table. Like, see what I mean? And I had a billion confirmations beforehand that she was always meant to be at the table. Just like Theto and Doris were always meant to be at the table, but they're still afraid of stuff. And anyway, it's just confirmation after confirmation. I am what I am. I am what I say I am. I couldn't even get out of it. I couldn't even fight it. No man has a say over it. No groups of men have a say over it. I'm not looking for approval. I've been looking for someone like Igwe to, to prove to me that here later on, at least one of you has proven to actually love me for me being me and not for me being what I'm about to be or something like that. See, I've been trying to find that for two years. Yeah, that. Everybody else has been close to me with their mouth, but far from me with their heart. They say what they say, but they don't even have the, the guts to address me. Specifically, that condescending bastard Eli, who, he's a bastard because he doesn't know his Heavenly Father, he just claims to. And by his tongue he is condemned, because time and time again he says, Oh, thank you Holy Spirit, and then lies to you. Oh, thank you Holy Spirit, and then makes up some crap. Woe to anyone that is connected to that man. I've made this abundantly clear. Even to people who may have had a chance to sit at the table, but probably won't because they were too stupid to hear anything anybody had to say to them. They'd made up their own mind 
that they were right about something when I've proven that they're wrong about that something. You could beat the skin right off of me and I'll forgive you for it. You could call me whatever names you want to call me. You could do whatever you want to do behind my back. You could stab me in the back. But I won't be talked down to by somebody who doesn't know 5% of what I know. Not even 1% to tell you the truth. Just a f babbling fool that wants to talk down to me. I will not have it. See what I mean? And you were warned in the scriptures. Many times you were warned. You can blaspheme the Father, and you can blaspheme the Son, but you can't blaspheme me, see? The consequences are hell, see? That's how it is. You won't have eternal life. That's right here on earth. The kingdom of heaven, it's here. You're not going to be in it, pal, and neither is anyone that's connected to you. You need to repent of your sins. You're, you're never going to get out of it, see what I mean? There's no way out of it. There's not a better place. It's here or hell. You're already not welcome in heaven, and you've proven that. You don't want to die and go to a judgment day, trust me. So you can just be the dog on earth forever, or you can die and go to hell. Those are your options. I'm here to let you know, personally, Eli Lasky is the dog of the world. There you go, buddy. And uh, so anyway, I love you all. But false shepherds must die. I could forgive Obama. I could forgive Bush. I could forgive anyone, see? Vladimir Putin, whoever. I can forgive you, but not false shepherds. False shepherds that have led our, the, our father's flock astray, you have to die. There's no eternal life for you unless you repent confess your sins to your whole entire congregation flock that you've led astray. Do it 